Hi, Joseph Clay here with my day four of Royal Ascot Racing Tips. This podcast is sponsored by Bloodstock Evaluator. Well, if you've been following my channel, um, we did tip out yesterday in the Windsor Castle. Um, we tipped two races out, and we did tip out uh, Chipotle to be in the frame, and uh, it won. It, uh, I got on at 28 to 1. So my two other selections didn't come in, but I, I backed uh, Chipotle as well. Like what I've been saying before, I always sort of back each way if for a place. And I actually placed, put a bet on for place and then I put uh, two, two uh, dollars on for uh, to, to win. And so I was able to, to come out ahead for the day. Um, so really that's what we're trying to do is give you horses that have a select, that have that, uh, we're utilizing the, the pedigree dosage tool from Bloodstock Evaluator in these unexposed races that measures a uh, striding ability, a turn of foot, speed, stamina, and a certain amount of toughness, which is uh, a sign of earlier maturity to, to reach an opinion with form. Um, so that way you can be able to, you know, you can combine our selections with maybe some of your, from, from your own opinion, and it gives you a, a better chance of winning. Um, so today, uh, we've picked out two races as well as we are, um, we have, um, the tip of the day from the creator of Bloodstock Evaluator and excellent form horse breeder and form guide, uh, Spencer Chapman, who's, who uh, created, who owns the company Bloodstock Evaluator. And he gave me uh, a good tip uh, yesterday, Kimari. And I thought, you know, why not give me two tips and I can just put it on for you guys. Um, so we're going to do that. So we're going to start off with my selections first, uh, the 230 Albany Stakes. We feel like uh, Lady uh, Airsome has proven on the soft ground, has won twice by Kevin Ryan. He always comes to ask it with uh, longer priced horses, but he, they get in the frame. We feel like that he's worth a shot. He's going to be long priced, 18 to 1, over... Uh, prettiest, who's by to a Bowie, um, Aiden O'Brien, she's super fast. You know, the ground's going to be a concern, uh, and that's one thing to consider. Um, over uh, Flotus, who has great turn of foot and stride and speed, who's the really the favorite, Who, who's going to be pretty certain in the frame as well. But can we get a longer price? And that's kind of what I'm taking a chance on to tip out. So we have Lady Ars Airsome to win over Prettiest to place, Flotus to place. Um, <clears throat> going on to the 420 Ascot Coronation Stakes, we feel like Pretty Gorgeous, trained by Joseph O'Brien, is really fast, has loads of speed, turn of foot, a certain amount of stamina. Um... There's one on the soft before. Last time out was uh, on heavy and didn't do anything, but feel like that she is fast. Ridden by Frankie Dettori is a real asset. Can beat the favorites. Uh, we have uh, Empress Josephine uh, by Galileo. Huge stride index. Will be in the frame as well to place. And then we have another horse, a longer price, to come in. Uh, as place as well as uh, Potapova by Michael Stout has a chance to be in the frame. She has a good stride, She's slightly raced, sort of unexposed. We feel like she could be in the frame as well. So pretty gorgeous to win over Express Empress. Sorry, Empress Josephine uh, over Potapova uh, to place. Now, um, Spencer Chapman's um, tip, two tips of the day for him. He's combining a lot of race form uh, as well as he will, he'll use the 
bloodstock evaluator tool, but it, that's just more of a minor. He's con combining speed figures and time form. In the 340, uh, 340 Commonwealth Cuff, he has Sioza uh, to win. In the 5 o'clock uh, Sandringham Stakes, he has Prada, Prado to win. And 340 Sioza to win. Sioza, I'm not pronouncing it right. And then the 5 o'clock, uh, in the Sandringham Stakes, he has Prado uh, to win. Thank you for watching our podcast and, and good luck and have a great day. Thank you.